I'm going to start off by priming. I did go ahead and prep my nails already and take down anything that I needed to remove. I am running low on this Young Nails Protein Bond, so I definitely need to get some more. So I'm going to let that dry, and then we're gonna come in with the Gelish Foundation. If you've been with me, if you expect anything less, then you know. So I am actually getting over COVID. Don't recommend. I don't know where I got it because I don't really go anywhere. Um, so I must have just been out and I got it. Yay me. So I'm applying that base. And again, scrubbing it in, more so scrubbing it in on the new growth versus the gel I already have on. And I'm going to cure that. Coming in with the rest of the nails. I'm so excited to try that TikTok ombre nails obviously i've done plenty of ombre nails on my channel i'll go ahead and list some of them somewhere on here I'm on my last I'm broken. okay gonna fully cure that i'm coming in with jimmy gel take whatever builder gel you have it does not have to be a builder in a bottle it could easily be like ibd gel i also highly recommend the beetles gel i have used it many times in the past i haven't picked up the clear yet which i absolutely need to do um, I only have the pink and I've been wearing clear on my nails, so I need to do that. So I went ahead and put a slip layer down, which is that thin layer we're not going to cure. And then I'm going to take a bigger bead and I usually like to let it run down the brush some before putting it on my nail. So I let it come down here and collect before putting it on. Just dragging a little bit down the center. Gonna flip it upside down. All right, I gave that a cure and then I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through one more. So I'm applying that slip layer and this is just honestly, if you are new to gel, this is just the gel that you put down to help you place your larger bead. So just taking it out of the bottle and I wipe one side and let a bead collect down on the other side. Now I have some gel on, so I don't need that much. So I'm going to place it, I'm gonna switch my finger for you guys and let it run down. Okay, so I'm placing that gel in the back and since we're doing an infill, I don't need that much gel. So I place it in the back and then I am just kind of wiping it down. And then I'm gonna flip it back upside down and what that's gonna do is bring the gel back to center. So we went ahead and cured that, and this is before filing. And if you don't have gel on your nail, you would just build it up a little bit more, so adding more gel to get that kind of bubbly look there. So I'm gonna repeat the process and I will fast forward. All 
right, so I'm going to take this cat eye. This is Lost in New York from Madame Glam, and we are gonna have some fun. I will go ahead and do one nail first. That way you guys can kind of see. So I'm applying a nice thin coat. Yes, I hold my breath when I paint. Excuse me while I get a little bit closer to the cuticle. Go ahead and grab your magnet and only go on one side and then push that over I'm trying to get it nice and centered okay pull it away grab yourself a striping brush I always find this helps me tremendously when doing this I'm going to wipe most of the product off my brush and I'm coming around. This is a little bit hard to see, especially probably on camera. So I'm just adding a decent amount. And now, you know, I'm just gonna do, put a little bit on my table here. I'm going to take that brush and smooth out that French. She was a little stiff. Okay. All right, now we're gonna take it on the opposite side and again we're moving it over okay and cure I mean is that not the coolest thing I think that's so cool okay let's repeat I'll walk you through one more and then I will just uh, fast forward pushing back to the cuticle as I took most of it off my brush and then I work my way down the side and continuing to come back to the middle that way I try to mitigate as much as possible having too much polish in the cuticle area Okay, now I'm going to slide it over. Pull away. So I went ahead and cured that. And now I'm just taking my brush and doing a nice small layer and then coming in with that detailer brush. All right, let's repeat the process and work our way over. Okay, so cool. All right, now I'm just going to fast forward so you guys don't have to sit through all of these.
if y'all know me, you guys know I love me a good matte on cat eye. So I think I'm going to do these matte, not only because I think it will make the solid look better, um, but just that cat eye is gonna look awesome. Although glossy would have looked really good too. All right, here they are glossy. Cause I'm gonna put them in and they're gonna turn matte. They kind of just look like checkerboards. These are nifty. All right, here we go. I mean, I'm obsessed. I do think now that I see them, I would have done two of the base coats just because there's a little bit of splotchiness on the solid color. But y'all, you can't tell me these don't look stinking awesome. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Again, this color is Lost in New York. I do actually have a discount code for Madam Glam. I will link it below, but as I state in all of these, they usually run a better coupon than what I have, but I do like to mention it. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.